This training video will show you how to add two devices to your translator. I have already read the details of my translator. This can be seen by the icon being in bold. You need to right click on your translator and choose the option add child device. Once you choose that option, a big list of devices appears. Choose the devices you want to add. I'm going to add a smoke detector first, so I highlight optical. I can change the quantity down here if I require. At the moment though, I am only going to add one. And then you click the button add. When you choose add, the properties of that device appear. This is where you can change the handshake time, the supervision time, and the sensitivity of the device. I'm not going to change anything. I'm keeping everything as default, so I just click OK. It has now added an optical detector into the software. I now want to add a call point. So if I right click on the translator again, add child device, choose call point. I'm only going to add one, click add. And again, this is where I can change the properties of the call point. I'm not going to change any properties, so just click OK. And it has now added a call point into my software. I'm now in a position to tell the translator what to expect. So you right click on SGWW and choose the option program. That configuration is now being sent to the translator. Once it's completed, it will say operation successful, click OK. The translator has now changed back to a bold font and I'm now in a position to learn the devices on. To learn the devices on, I'm going to learn the smoke detector on first, so I right click on my detector highlight local programming and this is where I can program or delete the device. I'm going to program the device, so highlight program and click. Available devices searching is now the translator searching for an optical detector. So you get your smoke detector, make sure your secondary battery is already fitted and flick the programming switch to the on position. Once you flicked it to the on position you put your primary cell in and then you want to check for four red flashes of the LED. Once you have four red flashes, flip the switch back to the one position. You will get two green flashes and then the device will be programmed on. And this can be seen by the successful programming window appeared. When I click OK, the prog column now shows a plus. The plus means it has been logged on correctly. I can now learn my call point on. Right click on call point, highlight local programming, highlight program and left click. The translator is now searching for a call point. Make sure my secondary battery is fitted in my call point, flip the programming switch to the on position and put my primary cell in. Once I put my primary cell in, I check for four red flashes of the LED. After the four red flashes, I flip the switch to the one position. Once I flip to the one position, I get two green and the software says successful programming. When I click OK, the prog column shows a plus. Now I've learned these two on, I now need to reconfirm everything back to the translator. So if I right click on the SGWW and choose program again, that will now just reconfirm everything back to the translator. When that's finished, it will say successful programming. Click OK. I now have an error message on my translator LCD display. It says L-O-E-R. This means there is a load error. I now need to perform the load command. So using the push buttons on the translator, press down until it says RF, press right, it will say EHP, press right, it will say SIS, press up until it says load, press right, it says conf for confirm, press right, it says done. Then press left until the screen is blank.